inarguably the biggest single improvement in football manager is going to be inside the match engine this time hala freaking luya well let's see if i was actually right Hey, it's Elon back, still in the Everton shirt because, well, you filmed the first impressions video, now you need the first impressions of the match engine sort of thing. So yeah, thank you, Reese, again, for sending me this Everton shirt with the with the Zealand on the back. Reese's master plan to convert me to an Everton fan. It's lagging behind, but I gotta be honest, I had no feelings before. I've got mild feelings now. It's pretty crisp. That's pretty crisp, right? So today we are going to, I, I've actually not been in the match engine in Football Manager 21 before. I've streamed the game twice. We have not been in the match engine. My Twitch save, I stream on Twitch, by the way, four days a week, if you wanna check that out, uh, it's in the description, you can come hang out and we, we do this live, essentially. I started my save with Aberdeen great times and we got all the way up to the final preseason match we got everything situated staff training well no signings we wanted signings but there were no signings to be had and now that last friendly match is what we're going to play for me to take my first look at the match engine in the entire match day experience under the previous video you said the match engine was a lot better so i'm gonna let that affect my decision making and the match engine is great let's go here is your final chance to make any tactical changes wow. didn't see that one coming you can decide whether the changes you make today apply to your tactic for this match or for future games wow. i know i get made fun of this a lot for this a lot i <laughs> is that new <laughs> Because I didn't know that was there. Regardless of whether it's new or not, that is super cool. Because you can save the changes for all matches or just the next match. See, doing the tutorials does help. I definitely don't just skip the tutorials all the time. Now, this is totally new. So he's going to be that one dude in the comments that's like, it's not new, man. What's new to me? Total, it's down. No, I'm standing my ground. I this is new. The greatest debate ever is this tiny feature that barely affects your life. Actually new, more at 11. Okay, so we've got our tactics set. This is the team that I want. They're in proper condition. Let's loose the hounds, okay? So we don't have like a, a match preview anymore. We have no match preview screen. I'm guessing that might be the next screen. Let's go. Aha! The tactical decisions will always elicit a reaction from the squad. Oh, they've incorporated your pre-match briefing into that. I mean, that, they did literally just tell me that that was going to happen, but it's still cool to see. They've incorporated the pre-match briefing into the actual match day experience. So you walk in, tell the squad, this is who I'm selecting. This is what we're doing, that sort of thing. And you get reactions from it. Very realistic. Good. The team instruction passing a space doesn't suit his passing. Dries Kalia. Well, Dries, you weren't on the team dude you're he's a trialist what why are trialists allowed to have opinions this is not a democracy it changes from last match nobody's got any reactions let's go let's go to the team sheets i mean like this is just this is just sexy right here this is just hot this is just the way to do it olympic neon second team my team numbers are all of a sudden a lot more important because for some reason this makes me notice the numbers a lot more you get the time stadium oh man this is sort of stuff you get in a press box are you getting that little program you're coming into the game that is cool oh, we should instruct players to show yaya sumare onto his weak foot do it nice okay pass that very pleasing optic What's next? This is your last chance to let the players know what you expect of them before the match starts. Got it. This is the team talk. We have to combine our gestures and words. Hands on hips. My hips don't lie and I'm starting to feel it right. The chair doesn't like that idea. All right, let's 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 talk to the defenders, midfielders, or individuals. Why can I not talk to... We have a little complacency in the team, you know, from Lewis Ferguson. This is annoying. The guys on the right, I can't get to. And then well, I have to unclick everybody. I have to click exactly on this box, individual. Show me why you should be in the team. Kill all this. Oh, individual, because these are the guys on the field. That makes sense. And this, these are the subs. You know, and the, it just clicks all of a sudden. So they're all in front of me. And the subs are kind of like over here and we don't really care. Let's go. Cool. We put a little extra pressure on Lewis Ferguson. It's time to actually play the match. All right. This looks exactly the same as previous years. Oh, a little glitchy. A little glitchy. Oh, the commentators are in place and ready to go. Just kidding. There aren't actually commentators in the game. If there ever are, they should be me. Or more specifically, Clive. 
What a beautiful day for some football there, Roger. And I'm really excited to get started here. This is going to be wonderful. You know, when he lays off the drink, he's usually okay. Uh, the, during the match, keep a close eye on how each player is performing. Right, right, right. I can do that. Make quick changes. Couldn't be easier. Tell the players what you want them to do by changing up your tactics. That's usually how it works. More detailed changes to your tactics are possible as well. Cool. You communicate with players in the pitch by shouting. Cool. I've heard get creative is gone. That's the word on the street. So I'm gonna have to find a new, I'm gonna have to find a new boo thing. And then I have a tablet. I have a touchline tablet that I can like hit and will pop up with a bunch of information match stats that I'm gonna wanna customize, but you're gonna make them go away first. Analysis team also compiles an overview of stats as well as a list of notable events throughout the duration of the match. Okay. That's everything. Okay. Uh, settings. Thank you. Sideline. This is the appropriate way to do it. This camera height adjustment is pretty sick. Okay. Camera zoom doesn't work. Maybe it's just for this, but we're going to, we're going to do this angle. This angle looks really cool. I can see their formation. They're going with a five, four, one bold today. Aren't we? The shouts are apparently very weird. Encourage, calm down, focus, fire up. No pressure, demand more praise. Berate. I can berate them. Oh, heavens, the noise. I'm gonna go with a no. Thank you very much, though. And we definitely have to pick up the pace, gentlemen. I find that two is typically a good reflection, but it might be one on this match engine. I don't think so. Oh, the dugout. Okay, we've got a dugout section. I like this. Look, this layout is wonderful. I know that it was explained to me it's meant to reflect being an actual manager. So when you're on this touchline here on the bottom, you're pacing back and forth. You're looking pensive and you have all of your players kind of right behind you here. You've got your tablet that you can grow, go over and grab and give yourself all this information. And then you have shouts coming at you from behind uh, like the dugout. Let's see what we've got. And I like this height. I feel like having this height gives me a better perspective on the height of my players and maybe it'll allow you to find opportunities. Certainly feels more like being a manager. Dang it, Hedges. And Ferguson. I tell Logan. He's on the Hedges here. Oh, something wonderful. Congratulations to Scotland, by the way, for making the Euros. That happened like yesterday, considering when I'm filming this video. Okay, actually breaking down what we're seeing from the match engine. Uh, the, the, the key for them was fluidity, being able to create more fluidity. Uh, and it definitely looks like the game is more grounded. It's, you know, the animation is better. There is less gliding around on the field of play. We have 0.34 XG, which is cool. I mean, everybody's so excited about the XG. I, I feel like it's just a better tool than clear cut and half chances to really decide who the deserving winner of a match was. Haven't seen too much of an improvement when it comes to the actual ball control so far, but I do think the movement, the fluidity of the movement has been better. I, I'm going to go to comprehensive highlights because I want to see more of just the like the run of the mill play and how the match engine's working. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect. We're still in the beta. But you want to see the building blocks. So like if he's taking him on, you don't want to see him just yeet himself through. And that's good. We're not seeing that. And that's a ball that Kennedy can try and play in. We win a corner. OK, I haven't I haven't set these yet. So see what the base game has set up for a corner. Typically terrible. So the ball movement seems to be nice. The ball, the, the movement of the ball, the bouncing as it went back to Hoban. I like that. The ball control seems to be the same. Ooh. Okay. Better decision making. This, the goalkeeper saves are still a little, a little weird. I mean, it wasn't going to be perfect. We're just looking for the improvements they talked about. Come on, McLennan. I want to see a goal animation, McLennan. I'm going to try a shout and encourage. See if it works. I can't see body language like while I'm while I'm going along and I don't think I can add panels while the players are actually playing like while a highlight is active I don't think I can put panels on the screen I actually don't like that change I like to always have that information available that looked good that clearance that was that was nice it looked fluid it looked mildly realistic they're still a little weird on the ball like they see a guy in front of them and then they turn away for a second and kind of turn back Oh, nice ball. Great passing animation. I want to see a goalkeeper go to ground and I want to see some type of goal that I've not seen before. That would really lock it in. Obviously, the match engine feels better. They've spent a lot of time on the animation. It's more fluid. Decision making is good. They're using McLennan dropping in. Look at the look at the movement here. Look at the movement. Who's this guy? It's Hedges. That's McLennan. What is Hedges' position? My right wing. Uh, he's uh, inside forwards looking frisky right now. I really, really like that. Like a forward in possession. Inside forwards might be cracked. 
I know that's just that's a huge gamer term. They might be cracked if that's where they're going to end up when you're with you're on the ball. It's like having an extra forward, not actually. Oh yeah, here we go. Come on. Oh, he, he played it smart. I love it. Oh, the key attributes just the smoothness. I mean, that's the, the easiest thing to notice when you're doing something like this is the smoothness. There doesn't seem to be any large difference in terms of long range shots. There does seem to be better passing. And in terms of positioning, I have noticed some difference, in, you know, where these guys are ending up and so on and so forth. Our short passes are connecting very well. This is useless information. Analytical data. Yeah, this is nice. This is really nice, actually. You can just immediately pull up your analytical data at halftime. You get your average positions, figure out what everybody's doing, your shot map and like the XG of the shot. Player statistics, latest scores and tables. Now we head into the dressing room. We intend to encourage pump fists. Keep going out there. You know, it'll be worth it at the end of the season. Yes, lads. Now, can I make tactical changes? Okay, it's down here on the left. I can make tactical changes. And now you gotta give me like substitutions to be made any time. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Simple, simple, simple stuff. We're gonna switch up to attacking. We're gonna just we're gonna launch a few people. I haven't seen Kennedy do much of anything. So we're launching. You do that with like the team in the background and everything. The field in the background. That's nice. Let me check my tablet. The right wing is dying. I get used to this. You got our instructions, a quick tweak. They do have subjective refereeing in this game. Correct me if I'm wrong. That looked like a foul. They also talked a lot about those interceptions and stuff. I don't know if I've seen like a pass get cut out in a way that it hadn't been cut out before. Oh, dude. There, there it is. I mean, there's an interception that you didn't see before. It just happened against me, so I'm less enthused that it exists. Hey, let's go, Niall! Give me the... Goal! I love this goal animation. It's really good. They didn't call the offside. They didn't call that stupid offside that they used to call all the time. He's mildly offside, maybe obstructed his view a little bit. They didn't call it. That's beautiful. Okay, good. This is my left wing. Not slavishly devoted to being on the left wing, going to collect the ball. And playing with it through the middle. This is good. That That's wonderful. He's just working his way back to his position. Doesn't really. And now he just throws himself into the box. Now again, doesn't worry about getting back out to the left. I love that. At least we have the goal. We have 1.67 XG. And the XG, by the way, was they wrote a new XG engine just for this game because Miles doesn't like XG as it's normally applied. Excuse me? What just happened? I'm making a video reacting to the match engine for the first time, and I'm still getting cheesed. Well, that's a great animation, super cool that's in the game, but it, like, I get a back heel clearance out of the corner. That shot was going in. Okay, uh, Ferguson out for Campbell. Do it. Oh, it's Dean Campbell. What a moment that could have been for Dean Campbell. Fresh off the bench. <laughs> Dean Campbell again. Nice run. Beautiful. Loved that goal. From a match engine perspective, Kennedy, my center attacking midfielder, makes that run. Dean Campbell onto McLennan. Tucks it home. I like what I'm saying. I really think the match engine's backing up the expectations. I had a, a couple people say it was great, not awesome. Because I made the video, so this match engine is awesome. I, you know, I haven't seen any one of those situations where you realize that the other team's not going to be or like you realize the team's not going to be able to capitalize on it but it should be a great chance i've not seen any of those situations that's all you want out of a match engine first thing you want out of a match engine is that then you want this kind of authentic fluidity the way the ball is moving in particular is really kind of pleasing the players still have the, the glitch thing going on but they're definitely they make them smoother every year right Oh, told you the movement of the ball is nice. That shot was star spangled awesome. Come on, Logan. Come on, Logan. The animation there to go up for the header, great. In a year where COVID made it difficult to get into the office and work on things, the match engine team being able to work from home 
and create just a better match engine than we had last time. Just in, in, a, in basically, I think, all areas. They did so much for FM20 to rewrite the entire match, uh, the marking system that now they've, they've kind of been able to clean it up and add some other things. And the finishing, obviously, you're not going to be able to see all of that in one example game. Uh, but the, the, they spent a month just working on the finishing. And then they had to add in goalkeepers going to ground to, to accommodate for that. But there are a lot of cheeky ways to score goals. And the finishing is certainly just more logical. And I think everything feels a little more logical. You still have your stupid... Uh, crosses into the person right in front of them. I mean, it happens in real life, but it's not nearly as often as, or nearly as obvious, I should say, as, as it is in this game. But let's get through the rest of this. So we've got our XG story. We got our best performer. Uh, we have our team match ratings and subs. This is laid out rather wonderfully. Uh, I love that. Let's go to our dressing room. Uh, outstretched arms, a good performance for preseason outing. We're getting closer to where we need to be. Looked inspired and motivated, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. And then I hit continue and the match day experience has come to a close. Uh, I think that the, the best thing about the match engine right now uh, is the improved fluidity in ball movement. And I'm talking about fluidity in the way the players move, both animation wise and within the formation and the way the ball flies through the air. This affecting passing and shots like that range shot by Kennedy. Uh, so I'm going to give you know, the match engine probably comes in because I did see a few things, not not major things, bad defensive positioning situations, but little things like the way that players receive the ball and kind of freak out a little bit and then drop it off. Just these little things that Football Manager uh, has had problems with in the past, the crosses into the people right in front of them, those sorts of things. So I'm, I would say like a B plus, just below what I expected after everything I knew, but that it's still very good and it's still in the beta. So reserving judgment somewhat still until that, but we've got a, the match engine in my opinion is the best new feature in Football Manager. And I honestly don't think it's particularly close. All they had to do is get close to the expectations they set. And I think they have gotten close. All right, I'll see you guys on stream. I'll see you guys in another video. <sighs> Stay beautiful. What was that? What am I... <sighs> you don't exhale. That's like blowing a kiss. I, I could never be royalty.